Well, hey there, everybody. How y'all doing? I hope everybody's having a wonderful day or night, and welcome back to my channel. As always, I'm Deluxe. All right, it's time to do a What's New in Transformers. Yay! Love doing these. Basically, I just talk about new stuff coming out. I don't have it in hand. You know, I just like to talk about it. So grab your popcorn, grab your favorite beverage, sit back and relax, and let's just take, let's just talk about some new Transformers. Enjoy the ride. All right. All right, up first, as always, add-on kits, add-on kits, add-on kits for days. And it looks like someone else is making some new filler kits for the Generation Select Super Megatron. Uh, 115 Utopia is going to make some uh, gut fillers, so that's pretty cool. And they're making a hinge for the forearm, which I think that would be... I wish Hasbro would do this instead of a third party doing it, but it's pretty cool they are. Uh, so I wish that they start doing all this, you know, like a little open up, you know, where the fist can go in instead of leaving that huge gap and everything. That looks so cool. But yeah, you got some leg fillers, and you got some feet fillers, you got some back fillers. Man, this thing is just Waffle House City all the way, man. But yeah, so 115 Utopia is giving us some new fillers for Generation Select Super Megatron. All right, good stuff. Then up next, we got new stuff from Shockwave's Lab, SL-95 ABC War for Cybertron Accessories and Weapons. So they're going to give us an AllSpark, a grenade, and a rifle. Ooh. So the AllSpark, you know, is from the uh, War for Cybertron series, you know, Siege and everything. And, you know, it looks fine. A little uh, handle, you can hold on. It looks like a, my, <laughs> when he's talking about it on Shattercast, uh, it looks like a D&D &D or something or some kind of game you can play, like a dice you can roll. <laughs> so uh, Robert D was making fun of it, but you know, it's it's fine. The grenades are pretty cool. You can use it for hound. Uh, looks like they may, may, might be magnetic, and uh, which uh, my boy Justin T2R6 pointed that out, which looks pretty cool. And you got the rifle. The gun looks pretty quick, uh, pretty sweet. I was gonna say pretty quick, uh, but it looks pretty good. I like the rifle and everything. So eh, I mean, I probably would pass on this, but you know, I would really do like the gun and the uh, grenade. All spark is kind of meh, but it's fine. So yeah, new stuff from Shockwave's Lab. We got some uh, War for Cybertron add-on kits for you know for your siege figures. Awesome. And last but not least, it looks like Matrix Workshop is giving us a new Earthrise Sunstreaker uh, little add-on kit. So you get two new guns, which that's cool. He didn't really come with a gun. It came with that little spoiler thing or whatever, but it doesn't really uh, turn into a gun. But then you also get a spoiler as well. And then you got two other uh, black pieces, which I think they might be leg fillers or something, or some kind of filler gap, or gap filler thing. I don't know for sure. It doesn't show you any pictures of where this stuff goes, so I'm kind of thinking that might be the leg fillers, but... We'll see. I don't know for sure. Uh, don't quote me on everything. But Matrix Workshop M-42. This is a new kit for Earthrise Sunstreaker. So that's pretty cool. I would be in on this. I, I think it needs a, you know two guns. That would be pretty sweet. And the spoiler will help it as well. So cool stuff, man. I like it. Well, all right, folks, that's all we have for add-on kits. Now we're moving on to something one of my favorites. And not very much stuff going you know, going on right now, but we do have some new Legend stuff. And, man, Iron Factory is giving us EX-42Z Absolute Zero. This is going to be a Transmetal 2 cry Cryotech. Uh, this is a recolor of the uh, Red Dragon uh, that he did earlier this year. And uh, it looks really good. I love the light blue on the wings. And just you know fades into like a darker blue and it looks really good now this is going to be released for the 12th annual sgc shanghai convention annual meeting which is online will, will be online uh december 19th this will be limited to only 1500 units hopefully i can maybe try to get one because i really do love that mold it's really nicely done and i love iron factory too as well so everything they put out i try to get but yeah this thing looks really really nice and uh yeah i hope i have a chance to get this uh, like i said only 1500 uh, units will be made and uh this is for the uh you know redo of the rid crowd tech that he did so yeah transmittal 2 megatron iron factory ex 42 uh this is uh this is their uh, absolute zero which uh cool name too as well so cool stuff man can't wait for it all right, then we also got some new images from the Dr. Wu uh, next to the mainline Kingdom figures. We got the new Galvatron and Sound Blaster that they're coming out, and they are tiny. My God. Yeah, that Galvatron is going to be perfect for the HasLab Unicron, I think. So really great scale for that. Uh, but I do like the Dr. Wu stuff so far. Uh, they got some cool stuff coming up with uh, Beachcomber and Optimus Prime. Like I said, I'm definitely going to get the Galvatron and uh, Sound Blaster as well. I think they got Soundwave as well coming too. You know, duh, that's a that's a no-brainer. But yeah, new stuff from uh, Dr. Wu uh, showing some scale with the uh, Galvatron and Sound Blaster next to some uh, Kingdom Core figures. 
Awesome, awesome. Well, all right, that's all we have for Legends news. Let's move on to third-party MP scale news. And I'm not. This is kind of weird. I don't know for sure if this is real or not, but it looks like somebody might be knocking off Jetfire from Fans Toys or Skyfire, whichever one you'll call him. Uh, this is MMT01. It doesn't have a name or anything. They're using the same stock images as uh, the Jetfire from Fans Toys and everything, uh, but uh, or Phoenix, what they call him. Uh, but yeah, I don't know for sure if this is real or not. If somebody's gonna knock off, I think this will be the first time anybody's knocked off fans toys. I think I don't know. I have to remember. Hit me up in the comments. Has anybody knocked off uh, fans toys? I don't think they have. Uh, but they showed this. You know, this popped up and everybody's like, oh my god, somebody's knocking off you know Phoenix and everything. So yeah, MMT01. I don't know who is it, who it is. I don't know if it's real or not. We'll see. But yeah, someone might be knocking off Phoenix. Yeah, who knows? All right, Toy World still in the in the news and everything. So Toy World TWFS dash zero three C, the last night World War Two cliff jumper. So basically, this is going to be uh, Bumblebee, a little retool and recolor uh, with a new head sculpt and everything. So Toy World's going in, you know, pretty hard with the World War II stuff. We got Barricade coming out and everything. We got, you know, the uh, Seekers, you got Bumblebee and all that stuff and everything. But now they're doing uh, Cliff Jumper. So he's, you know, now packed with uh, tons of accessories, which looks pretty good. Uh, I have the mold. I have one of the Bumblebees. They did tons of recolors of him. Uh, that's pretty good mold. It's not bad. Now they are, you know, Studio Series scales. They're not, you know, you know, they're round, you know, the uh, Chuck scale and everything. So they're not huge. Uh, but this one looks pretty good. He comes with the media, medieval helmet, lace, and shield. So I guess if you want to have that kind of scene, you can do that if you want to. So it looks pretty cool. I may be in it. Like I said, I was uh, talking on Shattercast. If he does come with one of the Star Screen pieces, I'll definitely have to get it because I, I have to figure out which one comes with which. Because uh, I, I have two of the, I think I have an arm and a leg, so I'd like to finish that off. But if he comes with one, then I'll definitely have to get this one. So new stuff from Toy World. This is the last night World War II Cliff Jumper. Looks pretty cool. I don't know. I might be in it on you anyways. If he doesn't come with the Star Screen piece, he looks pretty cool. And in some pretty cool news, it looks like the uh, Mate Toys Downbeat Premium version is going to be in stock. Uh, they're going to start shipping tomorrow. This is from uh, TFS Express uh, overseas, UK and everything. It looks like uh, we're going to get this guy. So I'm, I'm excited. I hope they get the cone heads now. And uh, hopefully maybe we'll get the, you know, the headmasters, which I doubt we'll get those. But I do hope we do get the other two, uh, you know, cone heads and everything. But yeah, if you did down or pre-order this guy, um, he's actually coming out. So downbeat uh, premium version is uh, and gonna be in stock. So yay, new stuff from Make Toys. Oh, exciting. We. Well, all right, folks, that's all we have for the third party news. Let's move on to official news. And it looks like we're getting uh, some new retro stuff. You know, the Headmasters, uh, they're gonna be redoing the Titan Returns and they're going to give them the G1 kind of retro box and everything, which looked pretty cool. Um, I wouldn't mind just getting, getting them and then just leave them in the box. You know, I was getting excited. I thought they were going to do, you know, reissues of the Headmasters from G1, but they're just putting Titan Returns. But we got new images of uh, some uh, new listings for Highbrow, Weird Wolf, and Skull Cruncher, uh, just like they're doing the other ones, so you know we'll get those. So look, that's pretty cool, I guess, you know, everything. And speaking of that, we do have some new images of the retro headmasters, Chrome Dome, Mind Wipe, and Hard Hat, um, Hard Head. Uh, so that looks, you know, they have a little different in, you know, the plastic, you know, the color, there's a deep purple for Mind Wipe, and the headmaster is a little different uh, than the original, not the same as the Takara one. So the first one is gonna be the, you know, Titan Returns, the middle one is going to be the retro, and the third one is going to be the Takar one. So you can tell there's a difference in the uh, brainstorm. You know, all the headmasters are different uh, from what the original ones are and everything. Uh, so he has no uh, faceplate on that one, and the aqua blue is kind of a, a different color as well. Uh, so there's a difference in uh, brainstorm. Then you got Chrome Dome. You know, and with all of them, they got different stickers. You know, in places, some on the thighs and some on the knees and everything. Like I said, the headmaster is really different and a different kind of a shade of a tan for the chrome dome and everything. So there are some differences, which is cool. I'm glad they just didn't do a straight, you know, take them out, you know, of the time return box and just put it in there. So they did make some uh, changes. So that's pretty cool. And I don't know if I see these on, you know, Walmart, I may pick up and see how they are. And, you know, and see what they're doing and everything. But yeah, we got new images of uh, Chrome Dome, Mind Wipe, and Hardhead, and they're gonna get you know all the Titan Returns. I wonder if they're gonna do with them all of them like that, like the a couple like you know, um, let's see who they have, Rodimus or Hot Rod, and some other ones, Astro Train. I wonder if they're gonna do retro packaging for those, but we'll see. But yeah, new stuff from uh, Retro Headmasters, and they're coming to Walmart. Yay! 
All right, now we get to the good stuff. We got some new images of the kingdom, man. We got Leader Ultra Magnus, Voyager Inferno, and Voyager Dinobot. So it looks like Leader Class Ultra Magnus is a nice retool of the Siege Ultra Magnus. Makes them a little closer to the G1 design. Uh, now the Voyager Inferno seems to be a retool of, you know, Earthrise Grapple, which everybody knew that. And Voyager Dinobot is a complete new mold for the Maximal Warrior. Looks really, really freaking good. Yeah, so with Ultra Magnus, you know, looks like he, you know, he does kind of look like, like the Siege one. Kind of the R.I.D. kind of look in the, you know, alt mold as well. Uh, they did take off the, you know, the you know space goop or the you know battle damage or whatever everything like that uh, now they have mistransformed this because he does have a, a big old booty but that's supposed to be sliding up and everything so you can't see it in some of the pictures you can uh, now it does do the same thing with ultra magnus as well when he's combined so i don't know if you're able to slide it up or with him or not we will see but uh, they did mistransform him because he's got a big old booty. But Ultra Magnus looks fine. You know, I'm probably going to get him. Uh, like I'd always get him and everything. But uh, he's probably one of my least favorites that I'm looking forward to. Then you got Dinobot. And man, he looks freaking awesome. I'm excited for him, man. A lot of people are like, man, they don't need the MP. You just need this guy. But man... I love the alt mode. Looks good. I kind of, you know, the hands are kind of weird. They're just like, you know, really long and floppy. Kind of wish they would have put another hinge or something there to maybe, you know, not be so long and floppy, but it's fine. But I love the uh, the dino mode. Looks really good. It really kind of hides everything. You know, there are some real bit pieces you can see, and you're gonna see that with all the dino or with the Beast War stuff. But man, that bot mode looks freaking awesome. My god it looks good i love the chest i love the head sculpt looks really good man it's just mm, i'm so excited for this guy he looks really good so yeah really nicely done on the uh dinobot then we got inferno and i'm really excited grapple was a good mold i really liked him he's one of my favorite out of the earth rasta and this one looks like it's a retool and it's got some nicely done uh, weapons and this little you know articulation looks really good so i'm excited for inferno too i really man i wish i had a backdrop of when i take pictures of my stuff man that's a nice backdrop but yeah inferno looks really good too i'm excited for him then moving over to deluxe air razor and once again my god looks freaking awesome i love both modes i love the wingspan and i love that you can collapse the wings as well it looks so awesome I, man uh, robert d was saying it looks like an owl but i like it i think it looks really good and the bot mode looks and man it looks spectacular I, I love it i cannot wait for these kingdom stuff to come out man so yeah very nicely done i'm so excited for dinobot and i'm looking forward to air racers too they look really good together then we also got some new image new images of some new core stuff and we got uh deluxe class Ractonite. he is one of the fossilizer bots and he looks really good i like the uh fossilizer i'm I, I may have to get one or two of them because you can just, you know, war, you know, weapon up some other uh, figures if you want to. Uh, so this is uh, WFC K15 Ractonite, and it uh, looks pretty good. Uh, it's got, you know, jaw articulation. It's got tons of tons of articulation. He comes with a golden disc card that reveals a possible destiny of a key character. Uh, so that's pretty cool, and uh, so it looks pretty good. I like that. Then you got Huffer, and Huffer looks pretty cool. He's a deluxe class. That's kind of weird. It's like the Cliff Jumper. Uh, they label him Cliff, uh, you know, as a deluxe class, but he's really smaller than what a deluxe is usual. But Huffer looks really good too as well. I'm glad we're finally getting another Huffer, you know, for the main line. That's awesome as well. And then we got two new uh, core figures. This is their Legends class stuff. And we got Starscream and Megatron coming. And he is a tank. And then Starscream is a jet. And they look pretty cool. Uh, I have the three core uh, class, the Wave 1 already. And I really like them. They were pretty good. Optimus Prime was kind of meh. But the other two were fine. Uh, especially Rat Trap. Uh, so yeah, I really like these. You know, I'm definitely in on Starscream because I love Starscream. And I'm definitely going to get Megatron. I'm getting all this stuff. Who am I kidding, man? Kingdom is just... Mm, I can't wait. It's going to be exciting. So, yeah, that's the new reveals, man. We got a bunch of uh, uh, new stuff come up from Beast Wars. And, oh, man, so exciting. Golly, can't you feel it? Do you feel that? That's just excitement. Wow. Well, all right, folks, that's all we have for the news this week. And, man, it's so, so exciting. I know I say that all the time when I do these things. But, man, I get goosebumps. I get chills whenever I do what's new in Transformers. I love doing it. Ah. Uh, just makes me it just makes me glad to be a transformer fan right now and it's just awesome all right well hit me up some likes shares prayers and care bears go there and hit that sub button for me hit me up some comments tell me what you're excited for are you excited for any of this stuff you gotta be come on now if you're a transformer fan 
Well, you don't have to be, but it's still fun. So yeah, I guess I'll see you on the next What's New in Transformers. And as always, be good to yourself. Hell Hasbro, and good night, folks.